Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a hardcore match, and it's for the TNW Intercontinental Championship. You heard right from the ring announcer, Intercontinental Tunnel Line. And here comes Gohan, who's already having his huge issues with Papa Shango after what happened back in August, or precisely last month at King of the Celebrities, when Papa Shango won the Intercontinental title from Gohan. I know that about it in my mind. Gohan is not going to back down from anybody or anything, knowing he wants to take back home what is rightfully his, the TNW Intercontinental Championship. And no doubt about it in my mind, the winner of this match will meet the mad scientist Jeremy next month at TNW Thanksgiving Massacre in November. No doubt about it, that will be an annual tradition knowing the champions will, knowing the TNW champions will take on the HWF champions. And the one ending the show will be the HWF World Heavyweight Champion and the TNW World Heavyweight Championship match. No doubt about it, that's going to be a war zone between two big bulls locking horns. Not bad, about it, but these two big bulls are going to lock horns any moment now, knowing Gohan is fired up and ready to go, hoping to give it his all here tonight and become the Intercontinental Champion once again. Not bad, about it, the TNW Intercontinental title is going to be on the line here any moment as we wait for the arrival of the Voodoo Master himself, Papa Shango. Not bad, about it, in New Orleans, Louisiana, has a way of voodoo curses, last I checked. But, uh oh. Here comes the voodoo master and the TNW Intercontinental Champion, Papa Shango. Papa Shango, the darkest individual in the history of professional wrestling, has been through a lot in his career. Never won a single title in his life. And that was until things really changed up for him ever since he vanished into the world of darkness, into the shadows. Don't know about it, he hasn't been seen in years, but Papa Shungo is here for one night only, for a reason. More likely he's here for a reason here in TNW, and that is to dominate and become champion. Well, he fulfilled that goal after winning the Intercontinental title from Gohan the following night. Don't know about it, in my mind, this is gonna be a war zone. And then I'm, I'm going to assure you tonight, though, folks, this is not going to be a pretty match. But let's go to our ring announcer for the introductions between the challenger and the champion. Introducing the challenger from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 219 pounds, Go! Listen to this crowd, introducing, introducing the champion, the champion. From, from parts unknown, weighing in at 330 pounds, he is the, he is the TNW the Intercontinental Champion, Papa Shungo! And Papa Shungo receiving no ovation tonight as the TNW Intercontinental Champion. And right now, though, Gohan hoping to regain his title and take it back home with him. And no doubt about it, in my mind, that this is going to be a war zone. No doubt about it here, we, knowing that after so much that has happened here at Fred of October, and things have already intensified enough. No doubt about it, referee call for the bell. Here we go. Gohan hoping to take back his title and end this rivalry once and for all. Back elbow in the face by Gohan. Already coming back here in this fight. This is truly a David versus Goliath story right here. 219 pounds versus 330 pounds. How about it? Everyone knows the story of David versus Goliath. It's been, it's been well known and documented over the years. How about it? Cover here. Is this it? No. Gohan thought he had it that time as Papa Shungo kicked out at two and a half. I thought for sure we had a new Intercontinental Champion after that. Well, Papa Shungo already taking the beating all right. And now he got caught into an arm bar right on the outside here. Well, Papa Shungo may need to rethink his strategy because it looks like the mind games that he did last month worked a little bit, but it's not working tonight. No doubt about it. 
This all started back in August when Papa Strongo used his voodoo curse on his voodoo curse on Gohan the following month in August. He took him out of the summer of July rumble and Gohan won it payback ever since, putting the Intercontinental title on the line last month against Papa Shango. And that was a brutal match. But how about it? Cover is this it in two? No. Well, last week on Tuesday, Papa Shango took on Ash Ketchum. Lost that matchup ever since. Gohan's been very impressed with his, his grandson, more likely his son-in-law. And a diving leg drop from the top. And that one's got to be it, like a guillotine. New champion? No. That leg drop off the top rope could have done it here. Spinning heel kick by Gohan, catching Papa Shango on the face. Springboard backwards, elbow drop again, caught him. Uh, Papa Shango moved out of the way for the moment, but got caught. And Gohan all fired up and all business tonight. And he knows what it's all about in this Intercontinental title matchup. Now you better believe it, he does. And now hammering away on the face of Papa Shango. Man, for Papa Shango, it's not going to be a good night. Running super kick. And the fans went ballistic in New Orleans. Cover. Could he do it again? And he did it. Gohan is once again the Intercontinental Champion. My God, what a match. What a match. Here's your winner, and new TNW Intercontinental Champion, Go! Gohan! Gohan has done it, and he is walking out of New Orleans, Louisiana, once again, the Intercontinental Champion. Well, no doubt about it here, folks, but I got a feeling that this longest story rivalry in TNW's history has ended. No doubt about it, Papa Shango looks like may return to the shadows, but we don't know that for sure. But right now, though, folks, stick around because up next, the HWF, hardcore title on the line, the champion Sabu puts this title on the line against none other than the challenger, Rob Van Dam. No doubt about it, it's going to be a war zone, and that matchup is huge, and it's live, and it's next. That's what, what happens ever seen before about GGB has missing once again. It has been what happens. All friends has been saved his life to the Cerudo and now he's been trapped in different dimensions in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. With all what happens, we'll find out that the CGTP will find him, which will decide to the Rocky. Legion of the following contest is a hardcore match and it's for the HWF Hardcore Championship. Well, you heard right from the ring announcer. And uh-oh, man down the hatches because incoming. Here comes Rob Van Dam, who's been on the trail trying to become hardcore champion any way that he can in the HWF's record books. No doubt about it. He was the former HWF Tag Team Champions years ago since his time teaming up with Gumball Watterson and leading the best tag team of all time, the Hardcore Squad. No doubt about it. The Hardcore Squad has been the most dominant duo and more likely the dominant team in the history in HWF's record books. No doubt about it in my mind. And it looks like Rob Van Dam is all business tonight in this triumphant matchup, Hardcore Rules, because this man feels right at home in this environment. No doubt about it. And these fans in New Orleans, Louisiana, love this man. No doubt about it. He's been through a lot in his career, and it's going to be all on the line here as we wait for the arrival 
of the champion himself, Sabu. Rabad, the homicidal one, genocidal, death-defying. He's been through a lot in his career, along with RVD in the real ECW days. Because here comes Sabu, the hardcore champion. Both these two are real hardcore kings, and they've been through a lot in their careers. And they're both legends. Well, last Thursday night, RVD hoped that that they remain friends and no and no problems after it's all said and done. Because RVD put out some good arguable points last night on Thursday and did say that it was. It looked like just incredible. And Lance Storm is having to beat the heck out of each other, knowing the hardcore title is on the line. Now that bad though, Sabu, on the other hand has got a lot of potential to go a long way in, in the history books of HWF. He's already been the HWF first ever HWF European champion, already multiple time hardcore champion in his own rights in the HWF's record books. But Sabu would love more than anything than to try to become tag team champion or the world heavyweight champion, becoming the next Grand Slam winner in his own, in his own agenda. No doubt about it. Sabu was the first ever Grand Slam winner in ECW's record books. The only man to ever won all the ECW titles and was trained by his late great uncle, the original Sheik. But how about it, before there was ever was an Iron Sheik. Let's go to our ring announcer for introductions for this hardcore title match. Introducing, Introducing the challenger from Battle, from Battle Creek, Michigan, Michigan weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam! And introducing the champion from Bombay, India, weighing in at 216 pounds, he is the HWF. Hardcore champion, S Sabu! He almost forgot to mention he's homicidal, suicidal, genocidal, and death defying. Sabu's own version of Evil Knievel knows what it's all about being in this hardcore environment as well. Yeah, both these guys are tough. They're like daredevils. They're risk takers. They know what it's all about being in this match. Well, our senior official dressed up as an old school referee tonight for a reason, and I guess our senior official loves this match. Here we go. Match underway. And RBD hammering away on Sabu. And RBD springboard moonsault connected, hitting Sabu. It looks like the challenger is dominating here. Spinning leg drop. And right now, though, Sabu. Already dominating this fight, but as RVD and Sabu already going at it here. Well, Sabu nails the Hurricane Rana on Rob Van Dam. These guys know each other too well. They've learned from the best, from the original Sheik. They both learned from him over the years, and they're longtime best friends. Well, it's RVD hoping that their friendship does not come to an end here tonight, because this is what the Impact players wanted. Trying to end their friendship for everything they've been through together. No doubt about it. And a snap suplex right there. And right now, though, this is an all-out war we're seeing here. And a stomp in the face by Sabu, going to any tactic he can to keep Rob, Rob Van Dam down, playing mind games with his longtime best friend. I know that about it. Sabu going for the rake in the eyes. He had it right by the nose. Shades of his uncle, the original Sheik. Oh my God, Sabu brought a chair into the ring. This is his specialty for that chair. Oh, so, it is, so is Rob Van Dam. Hitting Sabu in the head with a chair. And Rob Van Dam and Sabu already met their match. And how about it, and a leaping neck breaker as Sabu's got the chair. Hitting Van Dam right on the head. And RVD right now with a clothesline. And the Van Daminator into the chair. And now RVD looking for another weapon. Oh, it's a shovel. How fitting, knowing his fight of October. 
Oh, the fans want tables. DDT by RVD on the outside on Sabu. Oh, look out. Rolling Thunder. My God, that was fine first off that shovel. Cover. No. Sabu's back was planted on that shovel after the Rolling Thunder. That had to hurt. No doubt about it. And Van Dam bringing Sabu back into the ring, jumping over the top rope. And, oh, oh. Ah! The powers of Sabu coming into play. Drop kick right to the back of the head of Rob Van Dam. Cover. No, and a kick at it one. Oh, Sabu realizing he's not going to beat Van Dam that way. And now Sabu bringing in a table. Listening to the fans, it looks like. Spinning heel kick by Sabu, and that table is right on, right on top of our official. Only our official right now is on top of that table, standing on top of it. Spinning heel kick by Rob Van Dam, nobody home. As Sabu letting RVD know how it's done, and the STL takedown on the outside. They're right, in, they're right near in hostile waters. And oh, wait a minute. Sabu tearing apart the HWF announcer's table. And Sabu destroying the monitors. And right now though, RVD back up over the clothesline, but Sabu caught him into a Hurricane Rana. Look, that's press. This one's gotta be it for RVD after that. Referee there, there's one, there's two. And Sabu is still the hardcore champion. Well, what a match this was between two of the greats in the world of ECW today, back in the ECW days, the real ECW days, that is. Here's your winner, and still, HWF Hardcore Champion, Sabu! Sabu walking out of New Orleans, Louisiana, still the Hardcore Champion. No doubt about it, my mind here, folks, it ain't over yet, because coming up next, GTP putting the International World Heavyweight title on the line against none other than the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Oh boy, that match is huge and it's live and it's next. There is a one, a mysterious demonic hedgehog is going to play the God Forsaken game with a young man named Tom who was a big fan of Sonic the Hedgehog as he plays the Sonic Dash which is everyone who fans of Sonic the Hedgehog the one mysterious is you Kyle was slaughtered for delivering a letter and the envelope by his best friend This Halloween. Starring Gordon Paul and Cole Behan. Sonic is the one who's going to play with him. He will to rape. Actions Film Production presents Sonic.exe In premiere on this October for Halloween season in release on YouTube video in October 31st. The Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a hardcore match and it's for the TNW International World Heavyweight Championship. You heard right from the ring announcer because here comes the challenger, Hall of Famer, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Well, he's got his gear on in this hardcore environment in New Orleans, Louisiana. And this is going to be a war zone, all right, for the TNW. 
International World Heavyweight Championship. Last time Michaels had an opportunity at the world title, the man was a former TNW World Heavyweight Champion. He tried to regain the TNW World title, but lost to Jay Reigns. And how bad that was months ago. And that was a big time match that nobody will ever forget. I know that about it in my mind where you know that later on tonight in our main event, Jay Reigns will put the TNW World Heavyweight title on the line against Kane. How about the brother of the Undertaker and how fitting for Fred of October to end off with a bang with the Big Red Machine and the Monster Kane going up against Jay Reigns for the world title later on tonight. Now that about it, but Michaels, this is going to be an all-out war we're going to see here for this TNW International World Heavyweight title match. GTP putting his title on the line against the, heart, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Well, what a match is set out to be here. HBK in the ring, anxiously ready to go here. And just what a match this is set out to be. And Uh-oh. Here comes GTP, the champion. And these fans in New Orleans, Louisiana are going to explode because here comes the champion. GTP healing all the way from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Already one of the greatest TNW International World Heavyweight Champions in history. And the man's a three-time World Heavyweight Champion after winning the GWE title two times in a row. Even winning on to winning the... Wait a minute, he's actually the four-time World Champion after winning the GWE title two times in a row and winning the TNW International World Heavyweight Champion two times in a row. So my apologies, folks. I'm just kind of stunned about these resumes GHB has. He's even, the, he's even right now still the GWE Intercontinental Champion. No doubt about it, my mind, GSP has been through a lot in this war zone of what's going to come here tonight. Any let's go, Michael, chance directed towards Shawn Michaels here. Let's go to ring announcer for the introductions. Introducing, Introducing the challenger, the challenger. Weighing, in. weighing in at 227 pounds from San Antonio, Texas, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. One ovation. And, and introducing the champion, the champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 170 pounds. He is the TNW International World Heavyweight Champion, G. G. P. Just one ovation between challenger and champion. As international world heavyweight champion, something tells me though that this is going to be a war zone for the biggest, one of the biggest prizes in TNW's history. Now that about it. And a major war zone in that as GGP and Michaels set to, set to do battle in this hardcore environment like we have every once a year. Here we go. Right now, the hardcore title match underway here. Most precisely, international world heavyweight title match underway here. As we saw the hardcore title in amazing fashion between Sabu and RVD. As they looked at each other eye to eye, still wanting to do battle. But that was until things really got out of hand when Just Incredible and Lance Storm and Dawn Marie came from out of nowhere. Knowing Dawn Marie's got a title match later on tonight against the HWF Women's Champion Batgirl. No doubt about it. Later on tonight. And elbow right to the gut by Michaels. And right now, though, Michaels with a Russian leg sweep coming back here in this fight, hoping to become TNW International World Heavyweight Champion tonight. Michaels, the first ever Grand Slam winner back in the WWE's record books, winning all the WWE titles, and GGP with a counter. GGP. Oh, oh my God, Michaels already busted wide open and nearly going in this hardcore environment. Bleeding from the side of his head, and a knee drop as GHP is using that head as leverage. Talk about a shark who smells blood. But how about it? Oh man, GHP going up top, looking for a leg drop, but Michaels moved out of the way and got on one knee to try to come back here. Over for the right hand, Michaels with a counter. And there's a gut buster. And the gut buster could do it right there. 
but GHB kicked out before the ref even made a count as our senior official dressed in his traditional costume. And our senior official's got to be loving this. The shin breaker into a back suplex combo maneuver. What a ma combo maneuver by GGP, the TNW International World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, his mom and his brother ought to be loving this at home, seeing this matchup live. And right now, though, there's that leg drop on the leg by GGP. And Michaels with a backwards elbow drop. The same move Gohan did earlier tonight. Not that bad it on Papa Shango. Ah, oh, steel chair. And GGP saw the chair. And right now, though, anything goes in this hardcore environment as our senior official trying to follow the action. GGP wanted this not to be a false count anywhere match in this hardcore matchup. He wanted it to be a normal, straight up hardcore match. Play it for him from Michaels. And a little DX sign. Right now, though, D-Generation X has been around for 25 years now, back in the record books of professional wrestling. They've been the most dominant duo, the most dominant team in the history of wrestling today. And Michaels using that chair, beating the heck out of the champion here. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, GHP, that chair been bent in half. And GHP brought Michaels back to the ring there. Michaels out of desperation, trying to use any leverage he can to win the International World Heavyweight title. The high end back suplex there from GGP did the damage. Michaels playing possum that time. And now Michaels picking him up. Wait a minute, GGP with a counter. Inverted DDT, taking Michaels down. In a place where Michaels does not want, what, does not want to go here. How about it? He's already in trouble. And GGP, look out, pile driver. That one's got to be the end of that one. Cover. There's two and a kick out at two and a half. GGP shocked. He thought he had him beat. Well, he may be shocked after this because GGP turns him over into the sharpshooter. Sharpshooter locked in on Michaels. Is he going to tap? And he does! GGP is still TNW International World Heavyweight Champion. What a win for the champion. My God, what a match this was. What a match. Here's your winner. And still TNW International World Heavyweight Champion, GGP. GGP still the International World Heavyweight Champion after an amazing performance after what we saw here. Not how about it, but stick around, folks. It ain't over yet because coming up next, the TNW Video Game Wars Championship on the line. The champion, Roman Reigns, puts his tongue on the line against the challenger in the debut of Dante Coriu. Oh, boy, that matchup is huge, and it's live, and it's next. That's what, what happens at the scene before about GGB has missing once again. It has been what happens. All friends has been saved his life to the Cerido and now he's been trapped in different dimensions in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. With all what happens, we'll find out that the CGTP will find him, which will decide to be Rocky. Legion of the following contest is a hardcore match, and it's for the TNW Video Game War Championship. You heard right from the ring announcer. TNW Video Game War is on the line. And here comes the challenger, the young man who loves dragons, Dante Coriu. But how about it? Former ACW Next Generation Champion making his TNW pay-per-view appearance for the first time ever. 
This is GMW pay-per-view in-ring debut. And no doubt about it in my mind, the young man was a former ACW next generation champion and the most dominant champion in ACW's history. No doubt about it, him and Eddie Munson, him and Eddie Munson had a huge war and pulled off an amazing performance for one of the greatest matches in T ACW's history today. No doubt about it, but this is an ACW. This is TNW Fed of October coming alive all the way from New Orleans, Louisiana. And no doubt about it, this is going to be a war zone for two of the greats in the history of TNW today. And right now, though, we wait for the arrival of the champion. And right now, though, this is Dante Coriu's in-ring debut against 1F members of the Bloodline, Roman Reigns, and the leader of the Bloodline. No doubt about it here. That's just that, no. That was that's not a flattering booze, by the way. <laughs> and yeah, that's not a flattering chat either. Those Romans suck chants. Let's go to our ring announcer for the introductions. Introducing, Introducing the challenger from Tokyo, from Tokyo Japan, Japan weighing, weighing in at 158 pounds, Dante Coria. And introducing the champion from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the TNW Video Game Wars Champion, Roman Reigns! Just listen to those chorus to booze directed to Roman Reigns tonight. What about it? A war zone. For the Video Game Wars title, Hardcore Rules, more likely a one-way dance. I know that bad, this is a one-way ticket to a war zone. And this war zone may come to an end if Roman loses the title here tonight. Dante trying to defend the honor of the world of Beyblade after what Roman Reigns did to Iger with the ultimate disrespect. Here we go. Well, the title on the line, side slam by Roman, taking Dante Coryu down. And Dante in the world of trouble needs to come back here with a strategy to take out Roman. Early cover of the match gets a one count. And he inadvertently hit him the referee. And Roman's trying to get himself disqualified for a reason. Wait a minute, right now, there are no rules in this match, so anything goes. That official's safe as far as I do know. Well, there's nothing the referee can do about it. Right now, though, Dante in trouble. Oh, Dante with a counter. And Roman with a kick to the spine out of desperation. Big boot to the face. Man, Dante is in trouble. He needs to rethink a strategy here if he's going to beat Roman Reigns tonight. Not that bad at the bloodline. Ought to be watching this backstage along with the honorary Ooh Sami Zayn, who still has to wear his costume until Thanksgiving Massacre. Not that bad it. I got, I got a feeling Sam Houston's got to be loving this. 
After what happened to Sami Zayn earlier tonight, he's probably looking on backstage somewhere. And a body splash off the top. Cover new champion? No. Gets a one count. And Dante off the ropes. Big splash. Man. Another splash. Trying to weaken Roman any way he can to keep the tribal chief down. A smart move by the young man who loves dragons. Look out! The meteor from behind. The big move that took out so many men back in ACW. New champion, no. What in the world was that? I don't know. Roman Reigns kicking out at two and a half here. And Dante all fired up here. Trying to give the fans a good time in New Orleans, Louisiana. A real good time here, no doubt about it. Over the right hand, Roman with a counter. And Roman with a front suplex slam, slamming Dante right off his feet. Well, lightly out of his, his shoes, Superman punch. Connected a little bit there. Cover, is this it? Two, no! Oh, wait a minute, Roman realizing there are no rules in this match, so he can do whatever he wants to the young man. Uh-oh. Steel chair, but Dante knocks the chair right out of Roman's hands here. Big clothesline off the ropes. And Roman with a running neck breaker, taking Dante off his feet. Uh-oh, if I were Roman, I wouldn't showboat because Dante's back on his feet. Dante in trouble, launching like, launched him like a human jackal off his shoulders, right off that top rope. And an Enziguri popping Roman in the jaw. Well, he may have landed headed first off the chair. Oh, Bo Nelson, back suplex. The one-winged dragon, he calls it cover. Could we have a new champion? No. Dante was so close. I thought for sure we had a new video game wars champion. And Dante, out of frustration, fired up here. And he fight forever chance. And a body splash, and he flew. Cover, new champion again, no. Again, gets a one count. Off the ropes, big splash, but Roman moved out of the way, out of desperation. Roman grabbed him. And a side slam by Roman Reigns, slamming the kid down, trying to break this kid in half. Oh God, he's got the chair. Look out, son. Oh my God. Roman out of desperation, using that chair. Trying to keep the kid down. Bringing it back up. Power slam, but Dante reversed it. And a counter by the tribal chief. Kick to the gut here. Look out, DDT. The DDT out of desperation, trying to keep the kid down here, it looks like. Covered by Roman, is this it too? No. Man, Roman Reigns out of desperation, doing whatever it takes to win and to retain the title here tonight. And would love more than anything to get the heck out of New Orleans, still the champion. Roman looking on at Dante on the outside. He's mocking the kid. Not a smart move when you mock the kid. And all oh, Dante bringing it back to the ring. Wait a minute! The guillotine! The guillotine! He got him! If Dante taps out, he loses the opportunity to be champion tonight. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, look! Dante with the rollover, escaping the guillotine! My God, no one's never done that before! Well, he rolled him over all right and escaped the guillotine. Roman Reigns with that dang our submission hold that has beaten so many men throughout his career. But it looks like Dante proved why he's not giving up. Off the ropes, the Meteor again from behind. Cover, could he do it here? No. And Roman again kicked out. Well, Roman Reigns has got that steel chair in the corner out of desperation. Uh-oh. When, when you're on the outside, it's a bad place to be. How about it? And wait a minute, Dante picks him up. What's he gonna do? I don't know. Wait a minute. Dante Coriu wants to end this the right way, and that's in the ring. What's he gonna do? 
Oh, wait a minute. The big punch. The big punch. Cover. Can he do it here? One, two. He did it. Dante Corio is the new TNW Middle Game Wars champion. And the Tribal Chief's reign is over. What a win. Here's your winner. And the new TNW Video Game Wars champion, Dante Corio. Looks like the payback for Beyblade has been served. And Dante Corio is the only young man to do it. What a win for Dante Corio tonight. Walking out of New Orleans, Louisiana, your new Video Game Wars champion. A lot of win for the young man, and what a night it has been thus far, and it ain't over yet, because coming up next, the Six Divas traditional TNW Bride of October Battle Royal. As we see, Pan, Ash's wife, against Naomi, Nia Jax, three TNW Divas, as they take on Boma, Beulah, and of course, Vicky, three HWF Divas. Oh boy, that, ma that matchup right before our two main events is huge. Leading into the Divas division, and it's live, and it's next.